Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song called Night Moves by Bob Seger. And we're going to start off and, and reposition and kind of walk through a, a lot of the, the, the song, but, but to match the recording, we'll end up capoing this on first fret. But we're going to start off on a G major chord, and when we play G major, first finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that's another way you may want to play your G major through the song. And then from the G, there's this really, really cool hit actually to an F major chord. And you could do this a couple different ways. You could do it as a bar F, where you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string second fret, third finger on the A string third fret, and the pinky on the D string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to just use something called an F major seven. You want to avoid the bar chords. And then when you play F major seven, first finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major seven and it sounds really, really groovy happy. Um, or you may want to use something called an F major 13, um, where you do your first finger on the G string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the D string 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret, and the pinky on the high E string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, we're kind of playing a root and a 3rd and, and a 6th and a 9th for an F, which is kind of an F major 13. Um, and then from the F, we're going to be going to a C major chord, we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, the second finger on the D string second fret, the third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to use something called C major 9, which is a very cool chord, where you do your first finger on the D string second fret, second finger on the A string third fret, third finger on the B string third fret, and the pinky on the high E string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major non. It sounds really, really groovy happy. So you may want to kind of, kind of work that, that verse part is kind of that C, and right after the C, there's another hit back to that F. So we kind of have our G, G, F, C, C, F. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 is down, down, up, up, down, up. So to the G and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now if you're looking for a really easy way out on this, especially through the verses, you could work it as kind of a G G C C idea. And then you have G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up. Um, you, you can kind of do the G with the whole strum pattern, the down, down, up, up, down, up, and then do the G with the down, down, up, and then hit the F for your up, down, up, and then go to your C for your whole pattern. C, down, up, up, down, up, and then we can do the down, down, up on the C. C, down, up, and then go to the F for your up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you'd have G, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, F, up, down, up. try and kind of match that you could do the G with kind of a down up down up up down up and then go to the F for the up down up and then kind of match that on the C and have down up down
little bit of muting on that, kind of a down, kill it, up, down, kill it, up, up, down, up, F, up, down. So kind of throwing in a little bit of right hand to kind of kill the string, but kind of make it a little bit muffled on that. basically be repeating that pattern for, for our verse until we get to our chorus part. And our chorus we go to an E minor chord and we play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D string second fret. If you strum the E or all the strings together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now on the E minor you may also want to kind of think about adding in the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor seven. So you might kind of dig on that for the E minor. And then from the E minor we'll be going to a quick change to a D major. And when we play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D we'll be going back to our C major and then going back to D, E minor, D, C, D minor, D, C. So the weird part is on, on this beat, on our chorus, you can kind of have that E minor and D the same way we were doing with, with our, our F chord earlier. So you could have the E minor with the down, down, up, D with the up, down, up, C with the down, down, up, D up, down, up. You kind of alternate between them that way. So you have E minor, down, up. then we'll be repeating our verse, repeating our chorus, and then going back into our verse part to lead into our bridge part. And on our bridge, we start on the E minor. It's got some big long down on the E minor. And then you'll kind of hear a up on the E minor, and a down, and then a D with a up down, and then a G with a up down. And then there's this cool little hit right after that where you'll hear where the bass player is actually kind of playing the third fret on the D string or an F note in the bass, so a little E on the first fret. It's kind of an F note. And you may want to kind of switch that G chord at that point to a G7 chord. And when you play G7, first finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the A string second fret, third finger on the low E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G7 chord and it sounds really nasty. And then from there, then we pick it back up on our C major chord with our whole strum pattern. And another C. And then G. And then G. And C. C. And then we go to F. And then big D major. Another D. And then we kind of have a big hit on a G chord. Come in there where you play open D twice, and then we play open A and kind of do a hammer on the second fret. So I'm kind of playing the open A and putting my finger down to carry the sound. And then we go open D, and then third fret on the low E string, and you'll kind of hear another big hit on the G chord to kind of lead into our, our third verse, which is kind of a breakdown of our earlier verses, kind of a culmination of, of the verse and the, the chorus. And then from there, then we go back into kind of our main verse part, and then we have our go into our outro. And our outro, we start on the E minor chord, but then we go to a B minor chord. We play B minor. First finger, normally you do this as a bar. And first finger, we go across the entire second fret. Second finger on the B string on the third fret. Third finger on the D string on the fourth fret. And the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now, if you want to avoid the bars, then you might want to think about using something called B minor seven, where you do the first finger on the A string second fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret. Third finger on the high E, second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B minor seven. It sounds really sad. Or if you're kind of digging on those drone voicings that we were doing with kind of that E minor seven voicing, you can do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third, and kind of use the A string to the high E string. That might be a cool substitute for that. And then from the B minor, we go into an A minor chord, A minor. 
first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, third finger on the G string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now, if you're digging on the German voicings, um, you, you could kind of use the A set, an A7 sus for that chord, where you do first finger on the D string, second, second finger on the G string, second, third finger on the B string, third, and the pinky on the high E string, third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds an A7 sus, an A7 suspended, which you may want to use that for the A minor. And he'd be going back to the C major chord, and then we go to a G major, and then we kind of end with a big G at the very end. So through that outro, you got the E minor down, up, up, down, up, E minor down, up. is to play along with Bob Seger instead of starting on a G major chord on the recording it sounds like an A flat major chord so what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo and if you put the capo on first fret then now your G major is really an A flat major and your F major is really a G flat major and your C major is really a D flat major and the E minor is really an F minor chord and when we get to it on the G7 it would really be an A flat 7 and your B minor is really a C minor chord, and your A minor is really a B flat minor chord, and the G is still an A flat major chord. <laughs> but if we took it from the very, very beginning, you could work it as just kind of that down, down, up, up, down, I'm thinking of it as G, G, C, C, if you want the easiest way out. And then you have G, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up. strum pattern um, between between our chords so we got our E minor down up D up down up C down up D up down up E minor down up D up down up C down up D up down up E minor down up D up down up C down up up down up and from there then we'll be going back into our first part now one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down the down down up up down up you could throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the G, you'd have the low E for your bass. Down up, up, down up on the F bar, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the F major 7, you'd have the D for the bass. On the C, you'd have the A for the bass. On the E minor, you'd have the low E for the bass. And when we get to it on our outro, on the E minor, you'd have the A for the bass. On the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass. So if you wanted to, you could kind of throw in bass notes for it. So we tried that next verse with basses. We could do G with the low E bass down, up, up, down, G with the low E bass down, up, F, up, down, up, C with an A bass, C with an A bass down, up, F, up, down, G with the low E bass, G with the low E bass down, up, F, up, down, up, C, C. Or if you're kind of digging on that variation, you can kind of still throw in some of the basses. You may want to 
want to do is kind of find one way that kind of works for you or even kind of try and mix up between these different ways, you know, kind of depending on how you're feeling too. It can be kind of cool to kind of take one way and work it another, or you can kind of alternate between them, you know, if you're kind of feeling that. And then from that little piece of the verse, then we go into our bridge part. On our bridge, we think, and we got that big hit on the E minor. And then we kind of come back in on the up, down, and D with up, down, and then G with up, down. And then we kind of do our big G7 hit right after that. So right after that, right on that bridge, you got the E minor. E minor with the up, down, D up, down, G up, down, and then G7. And then we pick it back up on our C chord. So we got our C and A bass. To kind of our, our, our last verse, or kind of our breakdown verse, where we start on the G, da -da 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 -dee -da -da, and then we go to C, da -da 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 -da, and we go back to G, da -da 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 -dee -da -da, and then we go to C, da -da 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 -da, and then we go to E minor, da -da 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 -da, and then back to C, and then E minor. And C, and then E minor, and then you get this cool little hit where we do the C with the down, and if you lift off the first finger of that, that makes it a C major 7 chord, and then right from that C major 7 we go to a G, and then you'll kind of hear this cool little little piece of the lick we played earlier where we go open A to 2nd fret as a hammer on, and then open D to kind of lead back into our verse. So through that last part, you've got kind of the E minor, and then the C, C major 7, and then G, G, and then we got the O, 2, O, to kind of pick up back up on our G. Basics of how you could strum through night moves about Bob Seger. So, good luck!